亚太法律中心主席郭志明同其他两人合著的新书《不寻常的共同基础》，对奥巴马当选总统之后两年里的少数族裔问题进行了探讨以及研究。郭志明希望以后有更多的华裔民族可以参加议政的行列，为维护亚裔的权利而努力。洛杉矶亚太法律中心主席郭志明、南加大教授帕斯特和政策链接总裁布莱克威尔日前为新书《不同寻常的共同基础》举行签售仪式。仪式上，作者与与会书迷讨论了目前美国面临的种族问题。可喜的是，到二零五零年，美国国内主要族裔和少数族裔的概念将淡化。郭志明认为，目前美国的亚裔面临的最大问题是如何产生凝聚力。This book is talking about how race is still paramount in the United States. How diversity, especially racially, has grown、uh, fantastically. By the year 2050, there will be no majority race in the United States. Just like California already is a majority non-white,、uh, the United States will reflect that same demographic. So, if that's true,、uh, do we? Un- how do we? Deeply understand the issues of race, so that our communities can be healthier, stronger, and more vibrant. Or will race divide us with this increasing diversity? So the book is looking at how we could come together to solve some of the racial disparities. How we can come together to strengthen community leadership and our electoral leadership to confront issues of racial division and disparities. Guo Zhiming 表示。美国的亚裔因为文化、语言、居住地等不同的背景而很难融合到一起。我们必须找到一个亚裔认同的共同基础，来将大家凝聚在一起。要向非裔、犹太裔和西班牙裔民众学习。该书的另一名作者布莱克威尔认为，教育系统的种族平等至关重要。I hope that they will think about how race and the way we have dealt with race as a nation has contributed to inequality and disparities, and that they will be willing to talk openly and honestly about this issue and become leaders and advocates to make sure that we do everything that we can do to overcome the terrible legacy of racism and build a strong society in which all will be able to participate. 在新书发表会的最后，郭志明希望有更多的华裔民众可以加入与白人和其他族裔共同参政议政的行列当中。同时，他呼吁，如果面临种族歧视问题，要及时向亚太法律中心咨询。天下卫视，邹凯若、任文，洛杉矶采访报道。